Yo, what's good, everybody? This is your boy, Seaboy Ballin, and welcome to NBA Nightly Picks, part two. Uh, uh, this is part two of the video. I already did part one. You know, the vid, um, the games was on pretty early, so I had to split it like that. And plus, you know, it was it was two big games, like Miami versus Chicago and Lakers versus Spurs. As you can see, I'm laughing, so you see I'm smiling, so you know that the Lakers put a beat down on San Antonio and Miami lost. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, let's jump straight into it. Uh, the first game is the New York Knicks versus the Atlanta Hawks. The New York Knicks have been playing playing um, with the addition of Carmelo and, and, and Amari. You know, they've been playing pretty good, you know. But like I said, Cha Chauncey Billups is a key factor in, in the New York Knicks lineup. He's very, he's a key, he's an X, he's not even an X factor player. The guy was once a uh, finals MVP. He done won multiple championships when he was in Detroit. The guy have experience, finals experience, you know. So it's like, uh, I gotta, I, I can't go with the New York Knicks with that, with that piece missing. That is a major piece and people are not seeming, seeming to see that. You know, they're not seeming to see that Chauncey, um, Chauncey Billups is like, is he's their quarterback? He's their facilitator, you know. So without him on the floor, the chances of New York winning are very, very slim. But on the other hand, Josh Smith is is probably for this game. He's not sure if he's gonna be yet. He's gonna be here or not. He's gonna be playing or not. But I have to go Atlanta Hawks because uh, Ronnie T T Turiaf, he's out as well. He's probable for this game as well, and he's out. So, with two players out for the New York Knicks, I think they're short-handed, and I don't think they will have enough enough to beat the to beat the Atlanta Hawks in Atlanta. Atlanta Hawks have been playing pretty good. They ain't been losing no no silly games, you know, like New York did lost twice to the Cavaliers since the quiz, um since the addition to Carmelo. So I like the Atlanta Hawks and I gotta go with the Atlanta Hawks for that one. The next game is the New Orleans Hornets versus the Cleveland Cavaliers. Now the San Antonio Spurs won tonight so it's a possibility that the Cleveland Cavaliers could win tonight. It's a possibility because every time the the the, the best team lose the the, the the garbage team have a possibility of winning, you know. The worst team in the NBA have a possibility, a chance of winning. So don't that door is open. If all you betters, I wouldn't even bet on this game. I know it looks sweet, but just I wouldn't even bet on it. You know, I like the New Orleans Hornets to win it because they're the better team. David West is probable for this game, but Chris Paul definitely look good coming off of a 23 point 14, 23 point 14 assist game. He will ball in. Trevor Ariza is out, and you know, um, Carl Landry is in. I mean, they got enough firepower to beat these guys, man. So I definitely got to go with the New Orleans Hornets. They should win this one by at least eight points. But like I said, think about that. What I told you, betters, you know. Uh, then, but I'm I'm definitely taking the Hornets on my tickets. <laughs> The next game is the Phoenix Suns versus the Oklahoma Thunder. Uh, Phoenix Suns have been playing pretty good, but I have to go with OKC. Uh, OKC, Kevin Durant, he's he's injured, but he's playing through it, and that's what great players do. Great players play through injuries to help their team because they know how important they are to their team. So I have to go with OKC Thunder because uh, Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook, those two guys are very explosive. Russell Westbrook, he, he know how to control the situation. He's their quarterback. He's their, he's fast. He's he, he has leaping ability. He's an all-around player. He rebounds the basketball, steals. He do it all. So definitely the Oklahoma Thunder. The next game is game of the day. Uh, well, game of the night, I meant. Uh, uh, Memphis Grizzlies versus the Dallas Mavericks. Memphis Grizzlies have to win this game. The Dallas Mavericks have been playing. They are, they've been playing and winning games, and they're under the radar for some reason. I understand why they're under the radar when they've been winning how many straight games. They won, what, seven straight games or how many they, they don't won? And nobody's really talking about them. So I really think this, the Memphis Grizzlies need to snap that win streak, and I think this is a team... The Grizzlies have an opportunity to snap their, snap this win streak, and I, I think they're gonna do it. I expect they're, they're, they're them to come out, compete in, and and pull off the upset. You know, this is what the NBA is about, all about. I want to see the upset, and the, I think the Memphis Grizzlies is gonna give it to us tonight. The next game is the Boston Celtics versus the Milwaukee Bucks. Now the Milwaukee Bucks are, you know. All right, home, but they're going against the Boston Celtics with the addition of Jeff Green, and he's in the lineup, and he seems to be a nice little fit, a nice little piece to a puzzle 
but he, he wasn't as, he's not a great piece, but he's a nice little role piece, you know, so he came, he did his thing in his first game, and hopefully he can continue to do his thing and give the help the Boston Celtics to win over the Bucks. so I like the Boston Celtics, Celtics in that one, and that's my NBA Nightly Picks um, Part 2, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel, join the discussion, post a comment, I'm live here at game time, and also I like thumbs up, so hit that thumbs up button for me, thank you.